Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, to answer a few questions about the uh, 21H2 version of Windows 10. A lot of you have uh, been uh, surprised at the arrival of this. And of course, there's a lot of questions because people see 21H2 in Windows 11. So here's the uh, answers to a lot of the questions that I've seen this morning in the comments uh, here on the channel. First question is, well, if it's 21H2 and Windows 11 is 21H2, that means that some of the Windows 11 features are going to go to Windows 10. No. Windows insiders know this because they've been seeing that a lot in the past. When a feature update is being tested, most of its testing life, it still has old information in it. So it still gets the version from the previous version. One of the reasons is that it's still taken from the old version and slowly adapted to a more you know, advanced feature update. In this case, it's going to be moved on to Windows 11. So at the time of release, Windows 11 will have a different version number here. It might be Windows 11 simply, or it might be some kind of, um, you know, new way of giving a, a specific version number for what we're going to have here. Since Windows 11 will have a yearly update, that means it probably will have some way of telling us that this is going to be the update for this year and so on. But with version 21H2, that's going to disappear and be changed to something else uh, at the time of release. So this is uh, not the same thing. The other thing about the uh, Windows 10 um, 21H2, a lot of people that uh, are on release preview have noticed that they don't see it. Uh, there's this weird thing that's happening. So some of you that are not compatible have been moved back down to release preview. So people that are not compatible with Windows 11 at all, you'll see that your... Um, Insider ring might have automatically changed to release preview. You guys should see 21H2 actually to be tested. Now the beta channel is not getting 21H2 because they're preparing the beta channel for the arrival of Windows 11 eventually to be tested for final release. Uh, not a lot of new features. Like I said, a lot of you are asking me what big new features is coming to Windows 10 in the future, or if there are some big new features, none. Uh, it's going to be very small updates here and there. But, um, you know, we've seen that there's a few little things in this one for the fall, but with, for the majority of people, really nothing. Um, one of the things that is interesting is that they're giving it 18 months cycle. If that would be the last update for Windows 10 that they want to make, they would have given it a more, and it would have said, well, this is going to be good until the end of you know, 2025. So they're giving it 18 months. That means they're going to go and continue doing small updates, probably that they're going to call like 22H1, 22H2, and so on. Uh, because if that would not be the case, they would not have given still 18-month cycle. So uh, that means when you get 21H2 this fall, you'll have 18 months of support for it. For the rest, um, don't expect any major changes to Windows 10 in the future. Windows 10 will have these small, small uh, feature updates that they want to call, but that are really like little service packs that will be added from time to time, but nothing exciting, nothing new that is going to be a game changer. That is for sure. So in Windows 10, don't expect a lot of changes in the future as this is going to stay pretty stable. And, you know, honestly, that's probably what a lot of people want because it's going to be simpler. It's not going to be those huge major updates that you always don't know exactly, um, you know, if it's going to install well or not and if it's going to go well. It's really going to be just focusing on little things here and there. And for the rest, you know, Patch Tuesday updates for security and uh, some, uh, you know, 
updates for uh, bug fixes, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so that is pretty much what I have here as information and as uh, questions. If you have more questions, you can actually ask below. And uh, if uh, need to be, I will uh, do another questions and answer for 21H2, the next version of Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.